Local file inclusion allows an attacker to include files in the web application through HTTP requests made by the browser and resulting into exposing or running file on the web server. Typically, local file inclusion occurs when a web application include a file using the path to a file as an input without completely sanitizing the input. Here in the PHP code, web application is getting the file name from get input and unsafely including the input file in the web page. This allow an attacker to manipulate the input, inject the path traversal characters, and include the other files from the web server. After making above request, an attacker would see something like the following. Now consider the following piece of code. Now simple substitution with a random file name would not work, as the postfix.php is appended to the provided input. In order to bypass it, we can use null byte injection techniques to get the expected exploitation. Local file inclusion to remote code execution. If an attacker somehow managed to upload reverse shell on the web server, he can trick the web application into executing a reverse shell. That HTTP request will look like this. This is a simple web application. Let's see if we can find the local file inclusion vulnerability in this web application. If we look at the URL of web page, you can see show is equal to about.php is a good candidate for local file inclusion testing. By default, the open SSH private key is stored in following path. Let's see if we can include SSH private key. We have successfully included the private key. Looks like user saved the username and the password at the end of private key. Let's nmap the target machine. Nmap scan found three ports. Now check port 8022 with the help of Netcat. You can see, OpenSSH is running on port 8022. Let's SSH into the target machine. Use credentials saved in the private key. Congratulations, we have successfully got SSH access on the target machine. How to prevent local file inclusion abuse? Always sanitize user input with a whitelist, as shown in the example. In the example, user input is being sanitized with a whitelist of A to Z, 0 to 9, and underscore. Any character other than these characters found in the input will be removed. Thanks for watching this video till end. Until next time, take care of yourself and our channel.